Rod Kusin and Spooman for Risk, November 16th. Are we long or are we short? We are short. And we're going to tell you why. But before we do that, let's take a look at what the premium is telling us. Now, we've got all of our data feeds uh, up here. And there's one piece of critical information that tells you really more than anything else whether we're long or whether we are short. Now, you could probably guess what that is. But before we show you that, let's take a look at what we were able to see from uh, this morning. Now, we had a fairly low reading on the premium down here. All right. Premium was low at 374 when we hit 2170. Okay. And as you can see, it's been lower uh, other than this bar right here, which of course was also divergent. Uh, the market has been uh, no lower than that until later on over here. And that should give you a hint. But in the meantime, we started getting higher lows. And we get higher lows on the premium as well. But then we get that drop. Okay. That's one of your big, big indicators that something's not right about this move up. And you can see how we're divergent here. At the top. So this price has already got to get tested, and it is. But when that happens, you see, we get this big divergence in here. Now it's it's divergent, you know, to a degree compared to what what it is down here, and compared to the most recent drops in the premium, it's divergent. So yeah, we could expect to see this thing move up a little bit. Now look at this high and look at this high. Lower high. And then we begin to move up and we get a higher high. But a lower high here. So this is going to continue to move up. And we drop into a, uh, a higher low. And we're at a higher low here. So everything is a green. Okay, everything here is a green. And then we come into our first pivot here. We keep on tagging 2174.50, but you can see how the premium is dropping off. So you get divergent on that last bar. And then we, this begins to drop again. Drop, drop, drop. Until right there. That big bar. We're going to zoom in on this bar in just a minute. Okay. So you were divergent here, and you were divergent in here. As you can see, highs of the premium are not reaching this threshold. So you've got your drop. You got a similar situation with the YM. I'm not really going to talk about the ticky here at the moment. But the YM over here, we've got a nice overbought condition on the premium at the high of the YM. Now we get a big bar down over here on this uh, higher uh, low. And now the market again is, is moving down. And we're just about to break the uh, low of the morning there at 2170. I think we just did, yeah, 2170. Now, what's the big giveaway? If you thought it was over here, you'd be, you wouldn't be too far off in your call because that's a big bar. Let's zoom in on this. Okay, so let's zoom in. OK, 
Okay, so we had that big bar at 374. And then the biggest bar down here at 402 is that significant. Well, if you don't think that's significant, uh, you're, you're going to be regretting going long uh, today. That is significant. Now, we're going to give you some insight in here that uh, you are going to write down what we say because I'm only going to say this maybe once every moon. once in a blue moon I'm going to give you some information here that uh, you do not have and it's worth a uh, a pretty penny because you would have to pay probably in the neighborhood of three thousand dollars to learn this and I'm going to give it to you for free okay I'm going to give you this information for free now come get my indicator because <laughs> I gotta pay for that um, this is pretty powerful information all right now for some of you traders that have been around for a while you know what you're looking at here. Good old Hank's uh, program trading buy and sell levels. This is for today and you'll notice that his program sell execution levels is down at negative four. So on that basis alone this was a program sell and it's the only program um, execution level that was hit today. Okay, so if you read the premium right, you had reason to anticipate that this market would likely be shorting today. But you got to know how to read those numbers. And I am the only source, I am the only source on the internet that's going to tell you this. So what I'm saying is that you better listen up because I'm not going to repeat this for quite a while. All right, get your pencils out. Program trading. You have three numbers here fair value, a buy level, and a sell level. Fair value is at 280. Now we all know program trading makes up a substantial portion of the market activity every day. So what direction are the program traders likely going to be taking the market today. Is there a way for you to know in advance what direction program traders are likely going to take the market today or on any day? And the answer is yes, there is a way. And that way exists right in this paragraph, right here. Okay. This paragraph right here, our fair value for. Now, before I tell you the secret, just be aware, it's not always right. As we've kept track of this over the years, honestly, I have to say it's probably only about 60% maybe 65 percent accurate. It's much more accurate just to read the premium. If you learn how to read the premium this becomes less important but today it turns out that it's 
rather important because reading the direction of the market today was just a little difficult for some. And if you didn't have the information we're about to give you, you were probably going long when in fact you should be going short because that's the direction program traders are going to take today with a probability that's only about 60 percent. The probability that the market will drop is only about 60 percent today. Okay, and we're going to tell you how we know that. But I'm going to help you to figure it out on your own. That way nobody can claim that I told you. You figured it out. Okay, you got three numbers here. Now just ask yourself, all right, there's program buyers and there's program sellers. When a program buy hits, likely it's going to hit this execution level that he's got on this page. So the premium from fair value, fair value is 280. The premium has to move up to negative 150 in order to strike the execution level, the program by execution level has to move up to negative 150. If selling is going on, the premium has to move down from 280 to negative 4.00. Which is easier? Okay, put these three numbers on a piece of paper and tell me which is easier. From fair value, is it easier to get to negative 1.5 or negative 4.0? When you answer that question, you will have the secret of reading this paragraph. And it is a secret because it's not even taught after you pay $3,000 for his class. He still doesn't teach you that. At least not anymore. But we figured it out. And it's accurate. And if any of you are listening to this video and you are subscribing to his daily reports, Today, Program Trading Daily Report, in all likelihood, said that today's probable direction was short, with about a 60% accuracy. And it might have said 65% if you factor in some uh, weird historical precedence. But the raw calculation, the raw calculation would suggest about 60%. maybe even 55, but with the historical precedence, 60. So we would, we, I would su suspect that his, uh, uh, I know for a fact that he would be calling a short trade today, but the probability may be factored slightly by whatever historical precedence he liked to uh, cite to you. Raw calculation is actually closer to 55. But 60% uh, would do. Now, if you want to know how we knew that, besides what I've already said, you're going to have to come and ask for it. Because that I'm not going to tell you. 
But I will tell you this, that if you come to this paragraph every day and you just simply ask yourself, which execution level is it easier for the market to hit from fair value, you will know what the call is for the day, whether it's long or whether it's short, what the, what the probability is, whether it's a higher probability that it's short or a higher probability that it will go long. I just asked him the simple question, and you didn't have to pay $3,000 for it. You got it for nothing. We know what we're talking about. Now, don't be fooled. The market is still short. That's, that's the direction for the day. We've got a uh, mid-morning high, and that would mean that the mid, uh, the uh, afternoon low, all right, based on symmetry, the high was when? Okay. There's your high. So, roughly 9.45. With perfect symmetry, the low will be in the afternoon. Prior to the last half hour, so maybe closer to 2 o'clock in that neighborhood, you'll see your low based on pattern. We teach you how to figure that out. in our full course. So, look for an opportunity to go short if you're not already because that's the direction of this market. We'll come back later on and we'll prove it based on how the market behaves this afternoon. We'll come back, we'll recap this and show you how all that came into being. Now, before we uh, finish up our commentary, when the market hit the high here, there was a major divergence in the premium. Premium was down at the pivot bar at 284. As the market uh, moved back up from this low, because there was uh, quite a bit of divergence in here, it bounced and it left that bar right there. Now, be aware, as you're looking at this chart, that this is a 20-second bar. Okay, that's a 20-second bar. We need to look at this, and let's go back here again. We need to look at that on a five second bar. Okay. So it was still high. 289, right? That was the real premium high on the pivot bar. It was at 289. And that's still high. Uh, pardon me, 229. Excuse me. 229. And that's still high. So, while not a naked bar, it still is pretty high. And it suggests the possibility, at least, in this case, that this market might come back up and test this, which would be really pretty.
pretty unusual in my estimation, but it does suggest that. I don't think that will happen today, however. YM, on the other hand, was down quite a bit. And the uh, ticky ticky was pretty high for that pivot bar. So it's just a precaution. That's what we see on the premium. But big sell program coming in, as you saw it. right there 402 so look to go short be aware of that possibility of moving back up there but on any divergent you might as well short this if you're not already and look for an opportunity to average in uh, if the market goes higher but the, but the big overall picture here is short short into the afternoon at probably somewhere close to two o'clock we'll come back and we'll take a look so get ready to short this if you're not already all right that's our video for the morning we'll come back and we'll recap a little later on Rob Kusinen's Boom Man as a recap for uh, today's uh, short call. Now, in spite of everything that we had said prior to departing this morning, you'll notice that uh, our expectations were not met. What does that teach? It should teach don't hold on to expectations. Expectations can be helpful but you've got to read your indicators. You've got to read the premium. Uh, we had a program buy. I don't think there's anything uh, questionable about that down here. However, in spite of the low of which we anticipated in around two o'clock or so we saw divergence developing on the premium now we have not extended uh, our threshold indicator beyond this because I want you to yourself look at this and just see for yourself what it what it's telling you we had divergence on the premium here we, we had ultimately an oversold condition right in here you know that's what the indicator says it's oversold and it's uh, absolutely right what we expected however is that it would just come back down and continue going lower but as it came down and I think the real tel telltale point here uh, look at the premium here all right so now there's a nice move down you expect it to move lower and then we get to this low and we've got a higher low. You see it there? This is definitely a higher low. And then we get a lower low on the spruce and we get an even higher low on the premium. What is that, be, you know, what, what is that telling you? Okay. It's telling you this thing is going up. All right, so maybe you tighten your stop, or maybe, maybe even you take some profits off the table. But when are you really going to know that this thing is going the other way? Well, you had a trend change here. You didn't know it, but you had a trend change there. And you remember in our discussion earlier today, we talked about that bar right there at 219. I said, watch out. Watch out for that. That doesn't fit. And indeed, you you had this heads up. It's right there. 
Now, even on a five second chart, it was still there. And in that respect, it, it was predicted, uh, unfortunately. Uh, we were holding on to a preconceived idea, particularly because of this drop in the premium right in here. And then we figured, okay, it might come up. But it didn't. Then it came down. Then we got divergent. Then we came up. And then we got the higher lows and higher lows on the premium. Should have believed it. We didn't. So, now let's uh, finish this up. So you see the divergence in here. Actually, it's a little bit hard to read. Let me let me sh let me change that setting. That's just a little bit too. There we go. It's a little easier to see. So we had 230 on this bar, on the pivot bar just a little bit lower, not much, than it was here. It should be lower. But it was higher than the previous. Look at this bar and this bar. Two are the same. This is divergent. And you had another naked bar right here. Another naked bar right there. Up we go. So we're good. we should be getting Higher highs and higher lows. Now, what doesn't happen, however, okay, we, we come up here, we tag that price right in here, and we're at a lower high. Okay. So this could have been a little confusing, as it naturally would be. We come down to that low, and that's uh, predictive. We test that just a few moments later, and we're divergent again. So now you have to kind of reset your expectations. Is this going up or is it going down? And that's when she starts to march higher. Now, we drop down again here. But it's still a higher low. This is still higher, 322 as opposed to 325. It's still moving higher. It's not moving very fast, but it is moving higher. And then we, we, we come up here, and that's when we really start to get divergent. One, two, three. One, two, three. We get divergent here at the top. It comes back down. Okay. I had to read the premium. Don't hold on to expectations. Read the premium. And you won't go wrong. I'm Rod Kusin, and this is Man for Risk.